Explain the difference between atoms of oxygen and molecules of oxygen. Okay. Well, hopefully you've realized this by now because you've studied chemical, uh, you know, sort of ad nauseum. But an atom of oxygen is the smallest unit of the oxygen element. So an, a an atom of oxygen is the smallest unit that can still act like oxygen. Okay. So if you have oxygen molecules, two oxygen atoms together, both of those at atoms of oxygen will still behave like oxygen. Okay? So the atom of oxygen is the smallest unit of oxygen um, that behaves like the chemical oxygen. Okay? And each atom of oxygen contains eight protons, eight electrons, and in most cases, eight neutrons as well. Okay? There are very, very few examples where this doesn't happen. Okay? So that's what an atom of oxygen is. Now, oxygen atoms are very unstable and highly reactive, but they can form covalent bonds with other oxygen atoms to form pairs called oxygen molecules, O2. Now, oxygen molecules are stable, and these are the particles that make up oxygen gas. So oxygen molecules are the, f the elemental form of oxygen. Okay? So while the oxygen atom is the smallest thing that can behave like oxygen, we never find oxygen just alone in, in nature. We find oxygen molecules together um, because that is the most stable state for them to act as an element. Okay? So the oxygen molecule is the elemental state, this O2 is the way we find the element of oxygen in its purest form on Earth. Okay? So that's the difference between an oxygen atom and an oxygen molecule. And hopefully by now you've already seen um, and you understand that, but if you don't, hopefully this has cleared that up for you.